Hello my Sock Universe, this time we're gonna get two Serie A review videos because the Derby always deserves its own video, especially if Milan win and especially if Milan snap a really nasty losing streak. I'm still beside myself that Milan could win this Derby. And so before we talk a little bit more about it, let me give you my early morning reaction to the entire game, including a little cameo by my daughter. We won! Yes! It's the perfect weekend! <laughs> Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Milan could win a derby again after six losses. I was even considering not watching this one because I didn't see this going anywhere well. Inter were so great at Manchester, Milan were so poor against Liverpool. Yes, Milan just got the first win of the season, Inter looked imperious. Milan won and the best thing, deservedly so. Absolutely deservedly so. This is what makes me most happy about this win. The smile on my face on Monday morning, you just cannot get it off me. I, I, I just, even the evening already. Started out really well. I mean, I did not think that Fonseca's tactics with this adapted 4 2 4, you know, playing all the offensive players up there with Pulisic, Leao, Tammy Abraham, and Morata. Crazy idea. And then you have only two in midfield. Yeah, I guess it's more adaptable. But actually, it rattled into, and there were chances early on and then when Pulisic takes a ball from Mkhitaryan just darts towards the goal and Pavard doesn't want to give away a penalty it's an easy goal for Pulisic and Pulisic is turning out to be one of my favorite players already for quite a while at Milan he is really good he's great absolutely love that guy however then the game became more of a nail biter because I knew that yeah Inter will come back and Inter did come back. Di Marco gets an equalizer after um, Lautaro dummies the entire defense and everyone forgets about Di Marco at the back. It's an equalizer and then a great Mignon save on Thuram that really kept the game level. And then I thought, oh yeah, we just have to survive this half. I don't want to have a loss. Maybe we can get out with a draw. Actually, Milan were better. There was a Rafa Leao header on goal. More or less a free header, but it was not placed very well. Then a huge Tammy Abraham chance later on a counter track. Yes, Lotaro had a great shot uh, that was saved by Mignon, but the big chances all fell to Milan. And when Tammy Abraham pulled his shot wide, I was thinking, oh, no, are we going to throw away another derby? We should have scored by now. And it's a free kick, Reinders in. And Gabia. And I'm so happy that it's an Italian that wins the derby and a Milan youth player that wins the derby heads it in in the 87th minute. Oh man, what a relief. And then a 10 stop again. <laughs> but there was not much coming from Inter. There was a free header by Darmian that he put rather poorly over the bar. And Milan should have made it 3-1. I mean, there was Chukwese, there was Okafor having a 2-on-1 and Okafor puts it over the bar when he had every choice there. Yeah, there should have been a bigger score. And this is my only regret there. At the final whistle, well, I'll let my daughter describe to you how it was because she was sitting right next to me. Before I went to bed, I was watching with my dad the last minute from the game, and then the game stops, we win, and my dad shakes the hell out of me of joy. Ah, we won! <laughs> yes, we won! <laughs> like that. Life of having a maniac as a father. Okay. Please bear a thought for my daughter. Uh, she came just to say goodnight. She saw that as the game. She said, ah, I'm gonna watch this with you. She was already terrified when Okafor missed this big chance. She said, you really need anger management. I said, I'm not angry. I'm like, I'm just, ah! And then, yeah, I shook her a little bit, but I gave her a kiss afterwards. And yes, we reenacted the entire scene this morning again. And yes, whenever I see her today, I basically look at her and say, we won! Because that's how I feel. This, I'm incredulous. Honestly, this was one of the most unexpected Milan wins in a derby. Yes, we had this long not winning streak before when Inter just beat us every time. But losing that many, there were a few draws in there, but losing that many. That never felt quite right. It was kind of also coincident. It was all within two seasons because you had so many derbies in the Supercoppa in the Champions League. The statistic always felt a little bit inflated. Getting to Inter this time and beating them, gotta say, totally unexpected felt really really good and especially the way they did it this was not a smash and grab like the one derby win where they ended up winning the championship that was a smash and grab this was still my favorite derby win but this one was fully deserved milan were the better team and yes caveat in the inter had a very hard away game at City in the midweek, Milan had one day more to prepare and they didn't have to travel. I think this has to play into that. Still, there was plenty of time for Inter to prepare for his start. They looked leggy. They really looked leggy in the second half. 
I'm not complaining. For once, the schedule works out for my team. And yeah, with Lusk snapping a nasty losing streak on the weekend uh, themselves, it was a real feel-good weekend for me on the pitch. It was otherwise too, but you know, let's focus on the pitch. Six-point weekends always are great. Also, huge credit to Fonseca. I saw the 4-2-4 already against Liverpool, but Liverpool knew how to play through it. That this worked in the derby and the way he did it was quite intelligent so because it was not a front line of four. Yes, maybe when pressing, but Morata was a little bit back but had the connection up front with Tammy Abraham and then you had the wingers with Pulisic and Leao and that can be a real, real weapon. I just sometimes wish that Leao would put in a little bit more effort. He, I mean, he puts in effort, but you know, a little bit more seriousness. This is the one thing that gets me with Liao. He has so much talent, but you often wish there was a little bit more from him than on the other side. Pulisic is really lifting his game at the moment, which is I'm very, very happy about. And honestly, I had resigned myself. I mean, you saw my short video when De Rossi was sacked by Roma. They said, okay, Roma beat us to the first second of the season. I was not happy that Fonseca is already in doubt. I mean, after just five games in the season and the Champions League game, yes, the beginning did, didn't look good, but you have to stick it out with the coach. Look at last season in Lille. Fonseca's team did not work well at the beginning of the season. However, then they got kicking into the next level. His system takes time. His system definitely takes time and uh, needs to be a little bit more calm. And I really hope that the responsible people at the club did have that calm, although I'm not quite sure. I think up in the leadership, we're still quite uncertain how this is now looking, how much of a boss Ibrahimovic is, how much of a role he can actually play. Yeah, still there are some questions. At least give Fonseca now full guarantee for his job. He pulled out a really unlikely derby win. Now you have to build. Don't ask for a championship right now. Just because Inter won their second star doesn't mean we have to win it now immediately as well. I'd rather build a team, build a really good team and then win titles in a row. That's where the goal should be. Not this one title right now. But I was happy for that Fonseca got this win and that he's not being given the credit as well for his rather unusual formation. As I said, it sounds crazier than it actually was. He just shifted around players in his usual system. When putting Morata into the Trequartista role, that was a real masterstroke. And so yeah, Milan level on points with Inter. Who would have thought that? Yes, at the moment they're still out sitting outside the top six, even the top four. But you know, the season is long. I mean, it's just the fifth game of the season. And now with that boost, I can very well see Milan go a little bit on a tear, gain a few more points and the season will look much, much better come, let's say, the end of October. I'm, at least I'm hoping for that at and I really hope they don't fall back into old Milan patterns where after a great win, Milan is then trying to coast. This cannot happen. This can absolutely not happen. So this is my hope. Thank you to the entire team for making my Sunday evening. As I said in this uh, cut of the short video, I literally was considering not watching this game, but then I said, no, I, I cannot not watch it. That's, it's not an option, no, honestly. Maybe I will not put as much focus and maybe I will edit my Austrian Bundesliga video, which I did most of the time, but you know, I got more and more distracted. Milan ended up winning. I was fully into it. Yeah, my dog got a little scared at the end. Last thing, Tifos. There was no Tifo by Inter. There was a nice memorial to Toto Scalacci who had played for Inter a little bit. But, you know, I don't think he made a big dent for Inter. Milan's Tifo seemingly was mocking their ultras, but I didn't quite get it. My Italian is not up to snuff. It looked all right. I'm looking forward to when Milan is hosting a derby for two proper Tifos. That's what, what we need. That felt a little bit off-putting. And very, very lastly, I absolutely loved when Leao took the quarter flag of Inter with Inter logo on and put the Milan shirt over. That's it. Now you have bragging rights. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. My take from this Milan fan. There will be a Serie A review video coming for the other action from the past weekend. Probably Tuesday evening. And I'll talk to you soon about more things in my Serie A and my Milan universe. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!